What's up guys? So today we have another trade video. Got some uh, cool books here. You guys know I love my books. And a very nice surprise knife. So first I have a letter. All right, ripped off the bottom where I had personal information. It says, uh, hey Jeff, want to say uh, I really enjoy your videos. Been watching for a few years now and always enjoy seeing all the older or unique knives you show. You don't uh, see a lot of that on YouTube. Usually it's just the latest and greatest knife of the week. Uh, not that I don't enjoy seeing new stuff, but it's fun to see something I didn't know existed before. Um, I know they have been out for a minute, but would like to say congrats on the two knives that you've designed and released. I'm a hobbyist knife maker and have spent a lot of time, a lot of my time over the last year learning about knife design and execution, so I have a lot of respect for the craft, especially when it's an out-of-the-box design that works well. I'm glad we can make a deal and can't wait to try out the Kaiser Hunter. That's why I traded him for this stack of paper here. Um, awesome knife, by the way. Uh, so, it says, I hope you enjoy the books, and I added a little present in there as well. It's a bit rough around the edges, but it's a prototype of my Squirrel Hunter design. Do not worry, I'm not looking for exposure of any kind or anything extra on your part. Um, I just had... I've just had it sitting around and figured you might enjoy it since it would fit into your neck knife collection. You give me hours of entertainment, so it's just my way of saying thanks. May your trades be fruitful and your knives sharp. From Brian. Thank you so much, Brian. I really appreciate it. I actually really like the design. I think it's awesome. So here it is. And this fits the hand. You can see it's a, a finger toil that's half on the, uh, the blade there. And it... It literally just tucks in. I mean, I have an awesome, awesome grip on this. This particular grip, I don't know. I use this for a lot of different, um, you know, tasks. I'm just saying when I first opened it, I had to try it, and it is awesome. So even with the thumb back here, where it's obviously way more useful, super comfortable, really like it. And he said rough around the edges, but honestly, it is really, really nice. All right, I think you did a good job on it. Overall, it's cool, and this is totally out of the box. We are just uh, having that discussion in the letter. So well, thanks again. I really appreciate it. That was an awesome, awesome surprise. I do like the design a lot, and I will carry it around the neck. I have an extra ball chain uh, that was sitting on my desk yesterday, which I'm going to throw onto that sheath, and maybe I'll start carrying it tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, so the Kaiser Hunter for a stack of paper. You guys know I love my books, and he happened to have a bunch of the same hobbies that I do. So, Pro Tactics Ice Fishing, all right. Uh, definitely want to do some more ice fishing this year. You guys know I, I have a curse so far. I fished two seasons, have not caught anything. So we'll see what happens this winter. Um, also Pro Tactics Tackle Repair and Maintenance, which is a really, really cool guide. I didn't really scan through these so much, but I'm sure there's lots of awesome information in there on fixing tackle. If you do fishing of any kind, you know that it can get quite expensive if you keep breaking and losing lures. <clears throat> then we have a field and stream, um, the total fly fishing manual. Believe it or not, I, I don't think I've ever done a video on it, but I do fly fishing as well. Extremely, extremely amateur level. I have one setup that I got a long time ago, and I only fly fish a pond. I have successfully caught both bass and bluegill. Um, I always want to just, you know, get more into this hobby. You guys know I have too many hobbies. Too many hobbies, too much stuff, not enough time. Uh, but as far as fishing goes in general, I happen to love all types of fishing. Um, so in the future, maybe if I can make some time for it or if I divert some of my focus on that, I would like to get out to, you know, some streams and rivers and stuff and do some more fly fishing. I think it's a really, really cool thing. So it'd be nice to learn a little bit more about it. Uh, then we have Field and Stream, the total outdoorsman's skills and tools. So this has camping, fishing, hunting, and survival. Very cool cover there. So again, this just goes across the whole, the whole gambit of my interests. So this is something I'll read literally front to back. A very, very cool book. Then we have the Encyclopedia of Knives from A.E. Hartink. All right, a cool old spider co on the front. Um, this one I've never had. So this literally is gonna be just another reference for knives. I can't wait to look through this. This is another one of those ones I'm gonna go through page by page. All right, a lot of older stuff. I just saw it. I don't, I don't know what page that was on, but I saw the Boker Top Lock. <laughs> I'm not going to waste time. Oh, there it is. Boker Top Lock and Top Lock 2. That knife right there on top in plain edge is the first knife that gave me a massive, massive cut. I still have the scar you can see on my thumb there. That was a big old flap of skin, cut me down to the bone. Uh, whenever people talk about knives and, you know, getting uh, hurt with knives, 
Um, that's the story I always gravitate towards. I was probably, I don't know, maybe 10, 11, something like that. I forget the exact age. Um, but I was trying to cut open a softball. This was way before we had pocket computers where you can just Google the inside of what a softball looks like. This was back in the day, at least my day. Uh, so I learned the hard way not to try to cut something that's round, uh, at least how I was trying to do it. Anyway, awesome, awesome book. Actually, I just want to see the year that this came out. I'm curious. It looks like maybe late 80s, early 90s. Um, 1999. All right, so a lot of older stuff in there. So as mentioned, even in the letter, you guys know I like the unique stuff. I like the older, older knife model, so it's a very cool reference. Also, Field and Stream, How to Catch Bass. Um, I have a Field and Stream bass fishing book, but it has a different cover, so I don't know if it's an older version. Maybe it is the same book. Maybe it's not. Don't really know, but I like these. They're, they're set up very well, you know, how they're written. Obviously, tons of, tons of graphics and stuff, too, so it's a fun book to read. Then we have uh, Backcountry Fishing. Uh, guide for hikers, paddlers, and backpackers. Never saw this book before at all, so also a nice read. And the last book here, In Fisherman, Crappy Wisdom. The most detailed book on America's favorite panfish. Now, I've only caught one black crappy in my entire life. I think I showed it on one of my fishing videos. Um, where I've always fished my whole life, there never was crappy. I'm actually exposed to all kinds of new breeds of fish just by fishing elsewhere. I've always been so comfortable just going up to my grandfather's house and fishing in his pond and where I used to live in Jersey, going to that local lake. But there's a lot of species that in the last two years I've, I've caught for the first time ever. Perch, I know it sounds crazy. So many people are like, oh, perch, come on. That's like if someone told me like, oh, I never caught a bass before. I just, my whole life it was bass and bluegill and versions of bluegill, other panfish, but no crappy. So catching a crappy put up a heck of a fight. It was a big old chunker. All right, so just very intriguing species. So I'd like to you know, learn more about them. So it's a great book for that. So yeah, um, awesome, awesome trade. Really do appreciate it a great bit. Um, obviously, you know, he wanted the knife and no longer wants these books. Maybe he read them all already. So before I go, I did want to mention one thing and it is a message to all the younger viewers out there. If you're a young teenager, or who knows, maybe if you're even in your 20s and you just don't like to read, it's probably because you haven't found the right books. When I was a kid, I hated to read. I absolutely did not like it. I thought it was boring. I thought it was a waste of time. Uh, you know, certain projects for school, obviously there's certain books you had to read or whatever, they're mandatory. And I read them, but it was a struggle because I hated it. I don't personally like storybooks. And it's not like, you know, you have a project in school where you have to, you know, read a knife book. Um, but I'm telling you right now, reading is a ton of fun. If you don't like it, it's probably because you just haven't found the right types of books. So if you like knives, get a book on knives and start there. You know, you might really find that you do enjoy books. It's just you've been looking at the wrong ones. Anyway, it's just one of those things. I mean, I know it's a lot easier to get home from school and just turn on a video game or put on the TV, Netflix, whatever, watch a YouTube video. Um, but if there's one message I'd like to send out there, it's that, you know, a lot of younger people should definitely be reading more. You just got to find the right books to make it fun. So anyway, that's it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.